When the space probe Beagle 2 vanished without trace whilst trying to land on Mars, it all but broke the hearts of the British scientists who'd masterminded the attempt. But 11 years on, it has now emerged, as our science correspondent Alok Jar explains, that we could, after all, have reported the Beagle has landed. It was Britain's most audacious space mission. Beagle 2 plunged into the atmosphere of Mars and was meant to make contact with Earth as soon as it reached the surface of the red planet. But after it left its mothership, no one ever heard from it again. Ever since, people have wondered what happened to the lander. Today, these new images of its final landing site solved that mystery. It was Christmas Day in 2003 when scientists back in the UK were waiting to hear from Beagle 2. It turned out to be a devastating day not least for project leader Colin Pellinger, who was the face of the mission. Unfortunately, we don't have any Beagle data in the uh, telemetry for this pass. He died last year without ever knowing what happened to his spacecraft. Today, his daughter said he would have been overjoyed that Beagle 2 had been found. He would have said, you know, this is typical. It's the England team losing to penalties. You know, it's so close, but why could they not do it? We've just got to go back and do it again. Beagle 2 left its mothership Mars Express with a mission to look for signs of life on the red planet. After landing, it should have unfolded four solar panels to power its equipment, including an antenna to communicate with Earth. A robotic arm contained a suite of custom-designed scientific experiments. What we know now is that Beagle 2 seems to have reached the surface of Mars in one piece, and two of its solar panels even deployed when it got there. But then it never got back in touch with home. Frustratingly, it seems to have been recording scientific data on its descent and even recorded something on the surface of Mars too. But we'll probably never know what it found out. These images are very, very compelling. We're seeing something which is flat, which is right colour, right size, has a metallic glint which changes with sun angle. It looks like Beagle 2, so in my opinion, it must be Beagle 2. I'd almost given up, but not quite. Others might have given up looking for Beagle 2 in the past decade, but Colin Pillinger never did. He would no doubt have been pleased today to have been proved right. Alok Jha, ITV News.